Even if you don't think you're being tracked online, you are. Your internet service provider can see everything you do. While there probably isn't a guy sitting in a corner office watching your every move, many ISPs do compile anonymous browsing logs and sometimes sell them to advertising companies. News briefs bombard television sets and computer screens around the globe with cases of government whistleblowers, spying, cell phone hacking, private photographs leaked via iCloud, and more. Reports of the United States government usage of the PRISM program, allegedly tracking over one million persons in the United States alone, has been particularly startling. Naturally, growing interest and attention has been placed on privacy and security, not only in banks and boardrooms, but bedrooms and coffee shops around the world. Many want to avoid being tracked online, followed, spied on, and their information automatically gathered, even if just to check on their Google searches, Skype calls, Facebook posts, or email messages. There are many ways to protect yourself from the prowling eyes of Big Brother and others who make a living following your every cyber move. But do keep in mind that nothing is 100% foolproof. You have to assume that scammers, spammers, and others spend their days and nights finding ways to make your online experience vulnerable and under constant threat. That doesn't mean you should succumb or act recklessly online, however. Just to be extra cautious, before we go any further, Put a small strip of black electrical tape over your built-in computer camera. Hackers can remotely activate your webcam. Usually, you'll be able to tell it's been turned on due to the red light, but that's not always the case. There are techniques hackers and scammers use to avoid detection. Right now, there's definite cause for concern, because as many of you know, the Senate voted to permit internet providers to sell customers' browsing history without their knowledge or approval. Later that year, the FCC scrapped Obama-era net neutrality regulations, giving ISPs even broader control over the data traveling over their networks. Even putting aside the changing legal landscape, data is always vulnerable to hackers and almost certainly accessible to a government or law enforcement agency. If provided with a subpoena or a warrant from the police, your ISP is required to give up your browsing history. While we don't endorse doing anything against the law while you're online, there are many valid reasons why you should make it harder for interested parties to get access to your online activity. And a VPN is one of the most reliable. It's hard to protect your personal information on the internet with 100% effectiveness, but there are a few easy steps you can take that will make you a lot safer. According to Kaspersky Lab, these are certain ways in which you can manage your privacy and ensure that you are not tracked on the internet. 1. Click the Windows Start button and type CMD to launch the command window, which will display as a black box with white text reading C colon backslash users backslash your username. 2. Type netstat next to the prompt and press enter to generate a list of all outgoing data transmissions. The netstat command works best when you have as few applications opened as possible, preferably just one internet browser. The netstat generates a list of internet protocol, IP, addresses that your computer is sending information to. Some of these IP addresses are legitimate and correspond to websites or services that you're using. 3. Document each IP address reported by netstat and launch a web browser. Enter each IP address into your browser's address bar and press Enter to attempt to locate where the information is being sent. 1. Right-click your taskbar and select Start Task Manager to launch your task manager, a list of all running processes on your computer. 2. Close all programs except for one web browser. 3. Select the Processes tab. Then select Username and browse through the list to view all processes running on your computer. Processes that do not include your username may be an indication of malicious software running on your computer. 
don't remain logged into your social media accounts all the while. You are easy to track if you are always logged into your social media account because you are letting the social media company know whatever you do on the internet. Once you are logged out, your surfing cannot be tracked by your social media company. In summary, your every move in the cyberspace is being tracked by someone or the other. It is up to you to ensure that all your security measures are in place. Otherwise, it is as simple as you allowing your personal information to be misused by a third party.